And now, YouTube comments with Jacksepticeye. What came first, the chicken or the egg? The egg came first, because dinosaurs laid eggs before chickens even existed. Ha! Fuck you, science! I mean, thank you, science! Geez, sorry, sorry, science! Will you ever go to South Africa? I'm sorry, I probably won't be going to South Africa, like, ever. I, I don't have any plans to go there anyway, anytime soon. But my mother was there once, and she brought home fridge magnets. What was I gonna do with fridge magnets? I was like 10, I didn't have a fucking fridge. Jack, I need help for my exams. So what is one plus three? 18. No, 19. Carry the one. Oh, this comment was left on the 20th of September. Oh, they failed their exams a while back. Jack, how many hoes have you slapped? Just one. Yo mama. <laughs> Spicy or sour? Always spicy! I mean, sour is good too, but man, I love spicy food. I love like Mexican food and Korean food. They're my two favorites, and they can get hella spicy sometimes. But I mean, like, spicy is good going in, not good at all coming out. Hey, Jack, you probably won't see this, so I'll spam it on a bunch of other videos, only half joking. But I was wondering, how do you manage your long distance relationship? I live in Canada, but I met this girl from the Bahamas online, and we've been hitting it off. Any advice? I think the key to any, like, relationship just in general is honesty and communication like that and that will make any relationship last a very long time You got to build that trust that trust is the hardest thing to build because you're so far away So you don't really know what's going on with the other person and if you get in a fight It's really easy to just like not message each other back instead of like walking out of the room or something So just honesty communication and trust those are the three pillars that will make a long-distance relationship and any relationship in general work This has been Jack's love advice you're welcome. What do you think of PewDiePie hoarding money? He names his videos random stuff so that you press it thinking it's something special when really it's just him playing a game like Dead Rising 2. First off, that's not hoarding money. Hoarding money is like collecting money. I think you mean like money whoring? Which, it, that's not what it is. I, I know the way it seems. I've done this in the past myself and other YouTubers have done it too. It's not a case of like you name the video something obscure thinking that people will click on it more. It's, you kind of get bored naming stuff just like Autocraft Episode 1, or like Happy Wheels Number 5. Like, after a while you kind of go, you know what, I just want to call it something else. It's the same with the thumbnails. I get bored of just making thumbnails of like, a clip of the game with like, my face in the corner or something like that, and then the logo. I try, I try and like, spice it up sometimes, and that's what like, Mark and PewDiePie do as well. It's not, it's not really got to do with money whoring at all. I mean, naming stuff obscure things is like, the complete opposite of what you want to do for money whoring. If you want to money whore, you put the name of the game like, five times in the title. That's what people do in the Grand Theft Auto V scene these days. That's that's how you make sure that more people see that video if they search for Grand Theft Auto 5 and that kind of shit and that shit is despicable. Us naming games like obscure things means that people in the general searches of YouTube probably won't see it or know what it is or click into it at all. So if, in a, if anything it's the opposite of what you want to do for money whoring. We're, we're probably damaging our videos more than helping them. From what site or where does Jack read these things? From a very special site hidden away from everybody that you will never ever find and I will never read your comment from fuck. I just found out that the little kid's name in Happy Wheels is not Billy, it's Timmy. Screw you, Timmy! It just doesn't have the same ring to it. But yeah, I know his name is Timmy, and I know, like, it's just irresponsible dad, and all that kind of stuff. I just made up those names for them to make the series more personal to myself. That's just so it's, like, my kind of series, and it doesn't, like, blend in with everybody else. Jack! Why you not like the bye of a beautiful time joke? I love that joke! I just say it way too much, and that's why I said that I had to cut back on saying it, because I think it's pissing people off. People don't like you! Well then, isn't that they love you? Oh, okay. Oh, you got me there for a second. <laughs> Don't play with my feelings like that. Next YouTube comments vid. Hey Jack, will you ever do a Loot Crate unboxing video? P.S. You're the bossiest boss of bossy bosses. I thought of doing Loot Crate unboxing videos a while back. I, I've gotten the last three Loot Crates. You might have seen some of the stuff in my Instagram posts or my Twitter posts or like I've worn the jokey shirt from. I don't really like to do the unboxing stuff because it, it feels like selling something a bit too much. Like if I did the unboxing video, I don't really feel like the stuff in the loot crates is worth putting into a video. I don't feel like the whole unboxing thing is worthy of a video. And it feels like I'm trying to sell loot crate to you guys. And I don't want to feel like a salesman for anything. I don't want to feel like I'm pandering to you guys for views or free stuff or anything like that. So I, I just don't do the unboxing kind of things. Man, I like Jack with hat off, earphones on. Coming at you all natural, baby. The fuck you looking at? Keep scrolling. Oh, 
Jeez, sorry, dude. Jeez, I didn't mean to... This is a nice ass you got, girl. How often do you do these comment readings? Not as much as I probably should. People probably want me to do them a bit more often, and maybe I should do them a bit more often, but I, I like to just keep them every now and then. I don't do- th I don't have specific times for any of my videos. I don't want to do any video too often, because then people will get bored of it, so... Even with this. Here's a joke. An Irishman walks out of a bar. That's racist! That's not even funny. That's just offensive. Okay, it's funny. <laughs> Sean, you will die in 10. 10 million years? Perfect! Loads of time. Hey dude, do you have a cool job? Or do you ever go to visit your family? YouTube's my job. This is my job. I'm doing my job right now. This video is my job. So yeah, I have the coolest fucking job in the world. And I don't visit my family as often as I should. I really should go see them like once a week. But I, I met my mother today. We went off, had lunch together. It was awesome. Jacksepticeye or Sean, would you rather a money press or raining tacos? Raining tacos all day or day. Mainly because I'm a big fat bastard and I just love food. But also, just because I have a money press doesn't mean that that's legal tender. I'd be able to make the money, but it's illegal. <laughs> you should upload raw videos, where it's just a completely unedited video. Make another channel, or just put them on your normal channel, like a boss! Oh, it's a different type of raw video you had in mind. Sorry, I- that was like my fucking 18 plus rated channel. But no, I'm not going to be doing unedited videos. I used to do them a long time ago. I do straight start to finish stuff, I just cut off the ends of the video. That doesn't suit me anymore. That kind of style doesn't suit me at all. Really highly edited stuff really suits me where it's all chopped up because the pacing is just bang 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 and my type of humor coming at you really loud and fast I think works really well for me not for everybody not everyone can get away with that kind of stuff also I will never ever be making a second channel because anybody who has a second or third channel on YouTube is basically just in it for the money they, uh, that's all they care about is money having more channels more different partners more chances of putting up Certain videos and like different areas and getting all the views. I'm not doing that. I'm not here to try and make money out of you guys. I'm not here to pander to anybody. I'm not here to sell anything. I'm here to have a good time, to have fun with such brilliant people like you guys. It's just great that I be I'm able to do this as my job. That's a fantastic thing to be able to do because I can focus 100% of my energy on making the videos and interacting with you guys. Oh, I hear you guys typing away examples of channels that have two, two or more channels and saying that it's not for money. It is for money. I'm telling you from behind the scenes kind of stuff that goes on as a YouTuber. If you have more than one channel, it's all for money. Yo Jack, I was watching Vanos one day and I found that you commented on his video. Since when did you start watching Vanos? I've been watching Vanos for a while. Um, I didn't subscribe to him. Like while I was watching him, it, it took me a while to subscribe to him. I don't know why I kept checking his channel all the time watching his stuff But I've been watching it since I've been doing GTA 5 videos when I used to do GTA 5 videos last year Well, I was watching his video since then so yeah over a year I'd say at this stage Jack you're my cousin. So can you please buy me cod ghosts? Please you'll be my favorite cousin you see the kind of comments that I get you see this shit That's not even the worst comments. I get way worse than this. Just think about it. It makes perfect sense. You know, when you put it like that, it really does make sense. It all just clicks it. How could it be so stupid? Ow. Do you have your 1 million subscriber YouTube button award? <laughs> no. I didn't even have my 100,000 subscriber button reward yet. And I, I was talking to Mark one day, he said he didn't get his million subscriber button yet. It takes a long time for them to send them out. They only send them out once a year. And I ordered my silver button for 100,000 back at the start of July, and I still haven't gotten it, and I have to wait till next year to apply for the million subscriber one. Jack! What time is it? It's time... to party! Yes, you guys having a good time? Yeah, the song is great, yeah. You want a drink? I need some fucking friends. No YouTuber reads my comment. LIAR! Jack, the man who discovered milk, what was he doing to the cow? The first guy who ever discovered milk, he was actually trying to put out a fire on the cow's udders. He went over and he was like stroking to get the fire away. All of a sudden this milky white substance came out. And of course, being a human, he drank it. Jack, you are such a good YouTuber. Partly because your videos and overall commentary is so personal. Watching your videos is like watching a friend play. Yes! Exactly what I wanted. I really hope that that personal kind of feeling, the intimate kind of feeling is there on the channel still. I know the channel commentary has kind of evolved a bit. Uh, I'm a bit more bravado, a bit more like obnoxious and a bit cockier in some of my videos. Just like the whole style of my commentary has kind of gone that way, being like the boss and all that kind of stuff. But I really hope 
hope that it still retains some of that personal element in the middle of all that. Like, I, tr I try to bring entertaining videos, but I also try to make them so that I'm talking to you guys. I try and interact with the camera a lot and interact with you guys a lot. And I try and involve you in the commentary and in the game a lot more. Jack! Get the gun before Billy does and shoots us. Oh shit, where- where's my gun? Where's my fucking- Billy? Billy, now come on now. Billy, we can talk about this. Billy! Billy! That's for this reading your comments video. Some good ones in there. I really like this episode. That was a lot of fun to do. I, I hope that it comes out well in post and that I edit it up good. Of course I will. I'm a damn professional. But on a serious note, thank you guys for the comments as always. These videos get an insane amount of comments on them every single time and it's so mind-blowing to see. And it's great to see all the support. It's great to see people support me so much and try and like, I know some people just want to be in a video or whatever, but still it's great to see people rally around the series and try and make it like a better thing, try and make it- You guys made it what it is. Seriously, if there was no comments, I wouldn't be here reading anything from now on. But next time I'm gonna be doing it on Twitter. It's gonna be reading your Twitters, tweets. <laughs> I swear I've done this before. Reading your tweets next time it's gonna be. So remember, it's hashtag septic comments. I'm gonna leave it in the description if you wanna leave your tweets to me. And I don't do this because I want people to follow me or go to Twitter or anything like that. I just know some people prefer Twitter and prefer like that kind of interaction. And it makes it really easy to go down through Twitter and everything's a lot more, I don't know, it's a lot more organized so it makes it a bit easier and I like Twitter, I like interacting on Twitter as well just to try and bring everything full circle, not, not make it all about YouTube all the time. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss and I was all right. Whoosh, whoosh. But thank you guys, now we'll see all you dudes. Even an in the next video. That was just a sound. There's gonna be like dogs that can hear that. I'm gonna, that was like a mating call for birds.